Hi Ken, first of all. Hi. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> no, I was no, way very up. nice to meet you and yeah. thanks for taking this time to us to chat with us. First question is I ask all the guys like how you feel about this like come to Australia and meet all these fans like die hard of pop or fans. I, I'm I'm excited. I mean, you know, actually see, this is this is my first time out of the country. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and this and to come to Australia. I would always remember this because this is my first. When people say we were the first place you went out of the country, we always be Australian and people here are so nice mm -hmm. and generous. Well, you remember the first time you went on the set and you saw Robert with the scars and with the full makeup? Well, you remember of that experience too? Wow, the man is here. Wow, I, I, um, I remember the, my first day on the set, you know, um, with Robert. It was like that. I had, I had shot about four days, and so it was. The, so I was comfortable, you know. And then I think it's on that fifth day, you know, he just walked in behind me while I was in makeup, and I jumped, mm -hmm. you know, because it was like, hey, he was actually there. Because he, hit, I think I came in around eleven o'clock to go to makeup, and but Robert had been there almost like about five thirty to six that morning, you know, because he. He was always the first one there and the last one to leave. Which one is your favorite Nightmare on the Helm Street movies of the franchise? <laughs> Don't tell me the last one, the new one, please. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you, the last favorite... No, that doesn't count, the, the Michael Bay one doesn't count. The, the, well, the the, franchise. Uh, of course, the favorite was three and four to me, so... <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but I think out of three and four, I tend to lean toward three. Because, uh, not that I was in it during the whole movie, but because I got a chance to... Uh, meet the uh, cast and we was like a family you know we was just I was just in and out in part four I and get, yeah too. they just had to get kill me in part four get get me out the way mm -hmm. but hell but all of us was there in part three so that's the one that I kind of like remember It, Jennifer. Your big break in TV. Fuck the prime time, bitch. Which one is your favorite? Your favorite death in that movie? My favorite death? Yeah. I think the, the death that stands out to me is like when uh, the the girl head went through the television. Oh, he said, "Whack in the prime time, yeah. bitch." <laughs> the, I always felt that that was like a classic, you know, a classic line. Okay. What is next for you? What are you been up to lately? Uh, I'm I'm still acting and I'm writing and I'm just about I'm about to do another film called um, Brother White where I play a deacon in a church, and also I have a, a non-profit organization called Giving Back where I support young people with their books and supplies when they go to school, and I'm like supporting over 100 kids by buying their books and supplies and. Um, I send kids to camp during the summer, so I'm a big fan on uh, the youth and helping the youth and making sure that they have the tools that they need to further their education. So, um, you know, so my organization is called the Giving Back Corporation, mm -hmm. and it's on the um, the website is www. Um, dot gbc dash givingbackcorporation dot com. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, man. Thanks so much for your time. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.